Hello, everyone. Is that time again? Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Wisdom in Golf, Golf WRX. This is the Perfect Imperfections podcast with uh, Munashe, Savannah, and yours truly, Sean. And uh, this week is release week. Right. And we've got a video up right now that I couldn't be more proud of. I mean, you got to turn the sound up too because you're going to see you're going to see Moo absolutely smash one uh, in the first uh, the first few seconds while I'm you know I'm chit chatting away and then I break to Moo. So uh, not too loud because it it really comes through. It's amazing. Yeah, the acoustics here are pretty good. The acoustics are really good. Well, and just your power is really good. <laughs> That's it. And then you see a nice 150 mile an hour club speed flash with 206 ball speed. Yeah, the efficiency was not great on that shot, but the, the speed. Well, exactly, the speed exactly, good. and that's that's an off center hit. Yeah. So off center hits are well over two hundred miles an hour. Yeah. And your on center hits are now what two? Oh, uh, well. What's your What's your top ball speed so far? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two fifteen people, yeah. and I I just saw Kyle Berkshire put up a a video, mm-hmm. and. His club speed was one fifty five point something. Yeah, yeah. So he's and he got, was mighty proud of it. Yeah, because uh, it's not easy to hit center face with the whippy shaft that he was using in the video. Oh, is that soft? is is he going to a whippy shaft as well, like well, Martin? Mo- mo- most guys, it's not whippy, but it's a softer uh, stiffness. Well, Martin Borgmeier is saying it's a it's a soft ladies flex. Yeah, he's there's a few of them who have few, that. Yeah, there's a few of them who have a softer shaft, and right, and obviously you get a bit more speed, obviously with that kick. Mm. And uh, if you load it at the right place, exactly. Yes, so right? you got to train with that a lot to kind of get the reps in. And yeah, he's pulling. He's a guy. He's a guy that's pulling a lot of reps to be able to maximize. Man, it. that's a long way from the Jason Zubak days at Triple X shaft. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean that is well, so all- far removed yeah. from that. But I mean. Like when you're, when they're constantly trying to get to this next level, they're gonna try everything. Yeah. To see like the, what I'm, is gonna give them the edge, you know. I'm still of the opinion that, you know, every individual has um, an optimal load of their kinetic chain. So for throwing footballs or you know okay. sending javelins or things like that. Um. That kinetic chain has a very specific linkage to it, and you're only as good as your weakest link in that kinetic chain. So if everything's firing beautifully, but you feel that you've got to modify your response, which is a reflex action, right? Your, your central nervous system works at 40 million bits of information per second. And your conscious mind only works at 40 bits per second. So how are you supposed to control and get the timing? Obviously, it's, it takes a lot of practice, and you eventually are able to time it. But is that going against your natural rhythm? So we're, we're, we are of the opinion that, you know, uh, too much force is the enemy of your swing, too much manipulation is the enemy of your swing. So you want to be able to feel like, okay, I'm going that way, and I'm just going to witness momentum, build up my kinetic chain, and when that kinetic chain fires, it's going that way, come heck or high water. So I'm, I'm, that's, that's where I'm, I believe that you guys are going to do the most damage. You know, I think, because, um, I mean, look at where you are, Moo. Your second year, and you're, you're, breaking through 150 miles an hour consistently now. Yeah. Sav is is nipping at the at the 120s. Trying to get there. <laughs> well, I mean, look, you're um, I was I would have been ecstatic had you made it to 112 mm-hmm. on a consistent basis. Mm-hmm. And you've just blown right by that and you're you're at 116. Yeah, when I'm humming on all cylinders. Yeah. But it was cool so cuz in that in that session it wasn't just one Swing at 116, it was multiple. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I can get more, I can get more, I can get more yeah. kind of thing. But, um, yeah, hopefully well, I it's, can it's, get... it's pushing through that barrier, right, Moo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in, in, in the lessons I had this morning, uh, one of the students, 
you know, oftentimes uh, I'll, I'll have them remove their trail hand, their right. He, he's a right-handed player, so I had him remove his right hand. And he had his left hand on the club, and I put my hand on top of his. And mm-hmm. I said, okay, relax that left arm, and then listen to my hand and, and feel how we're, we're going to let the weight of the club release my hand over your hand. Mm-hmm. And then we make the snap, and his eyes lit up like dinner plates. Mm-hmm. He says, it's that fast? Mm-hmm. So the yielding process of that lead hand, remember you, Moo, when you're in that, in that learning process, yeah, the, the release wasn't there yet, and we had mm-hmm. that super strong grip with a super closed face just for you to stay on the planet. Yeah. And then the release starts kicking in, and you start snap hooking everything in sight, and I'm yeah. just dancing, right? There's yeah, yeah. Like the <laughs> choir singing, yeah, yeah. And, and I could see that, that engagement occur and I said, okay, now all we have to do is back off the club face a little bit until that ball straightens out. Right. And, and that's when you were three clubs longer than me. Yeah. Right? As soon as that, that release started to kick in. Yeah. And then the legs started turbocharging that, and that was it. Yeah. You, left, you left me in the dust. Mm-hmm. So now you've built on that, and, mm-hmm. you know, you went from one, you know, 115 where I was yeah. to 120 to 125 to 130, and that was gone. And now you're at 150. Yeah. It's like, Sav, that's, that's 40 miles an hour faster than what mm, we're doing. I know. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. kudos to you on that. Mm. And, and when my student really realized that, is that's, that's where the yielding process is. And in our video this week, we have like an infallible drill that all of you have to try. And it's ridiculously easy to perform. And that's what you guys are going to be, you know, because you guys are heading down to Hope Sound. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be landing in Orlando because we have a direct flight into Orlando. We rent a car from over there. And there's going to be eight lucky individuals that are going to get an amazing clinic from the two of you. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be showing them this speed training protocol Mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter where you meet them because as soon as they feel that this yielding process at their own pace right we've already added 15 to 30 yards of distance yeah it doesn't need to be a huge workout it's exactly just getting that you meet them where they are yeah and and that's typically been the 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 difference between at the ball and steer place hang on Guide versus snap, abandon, let it release, sure. get out of its way. So there's obviously a, a conscious uh, um, awareness, if you will, of how that lead hand gets out of the way. Yeah. But once it really starts getting out of the way and you got that sword humming with that trail hand, yeah. then you know that's where we start seeing some serious speed. And Sav's, because of her super strong grip, you'll see it in, in the video, like the thumbnail does not represent that release. The thumbnail is where both of your arms are in full extension, and mm-hmm. the frame after that is where that lead arm folds and removes itself from the way. And mm-hmm. at the end of the swing, uh, from down the line, I show where Sav has finally done that, that full release. And it is exactly the way it should be. It is exactly anatomically sound. And yours is like, <laughs> it's just like, it's so breezy move. Like yeah. 150 miles an hour, you didn't, you know, spin out, fall out of position. It's just like beautiful finish. Matter of fact, here it is. Yeah, it's I've, like, been, I've been working on making it look easy, making it feel easy, right? And um, that's where you, you want to stay healthy and in the cause long drive you know it's like it's easy to blow your back out or yeah and well not, you look at what you look at what happened to bryson mm-hmm. you know he he had a hip injury mm-hmm. and he he blew out his hamate bone in mm-hmm. his hand yeah and um that to me is uh, a lesson that he could learn from kyle berkshire if you look at kyle's hands mm-hmm. they're super strong kyle has your grip set mm-hmm. and and you know, that, that's where I highly recommend. And you see a lot of the upcoming players on the, um, oh, I, I can't remember his name, is, but on the Corn Ferry Tour, 
a couple of guys have been showing up in the top 10 and both of them like no names from before yeah both of them have super strong grips like ridiculously strong grips and so that's your access to the target that's your access to deep deep out there Mm -hmm. and uh and that's where you get that that full release Mm -hmm. so you'll see in our instagram now well because now we have we we figured something out right with social media so we're going to do a theme every week this week is release week and so on instagram on youtube shorts on um uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn uh, Facebook, Twitter, Facebook. you're going to see on Facebook, you're going to see every, every day a different video on that. And within that, if, I, if we see other videos that correspond to that, we're going to pop them in. So I popped one in this morning of you, Moo, mm-hmm. that, that famous 150-yard shot that sounded amazing. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even in the center of the face. It was close, but yeah, it, was, yeah. it wasn't. 150-mile-an-hour shot. 150-mile-an-hour shot. You said yard. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That's insulting. <laughs> that's, 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 yes, that's insulting. <laughs> and so, you know, and then we're going to put yours at 116 miles an hour. Uh, see, I said that okay, didn't I? <laughs> right. And, um, and then we're going to post, uh, I'm, I'll be posting our second video today. Our third video probably this this evening because I got to catch up. I missed it yesterday. Okay. You know, I wasn't in the habit. <laughs> did, did you post a YouTube short today? They're all lined up now. There should be set till the oh, end. Oh, so you already you already planned them out? Oh, yeah. So Can you, you can you do that on Instagram? I wish I, I wish you could, but I don't know if you can. I'm oh, sure. I'm so sure. I think they've... You can't schedule them. I well, think, I think they've introduced that feature, but only to a certain population. group of people. Yeah. Oh. Not... Everybody. Ideally, yeah, that would be nice. I yeah. think there's an app that it's, you can... It's nice to be able to schedule them in advance, and that way you don't do like me and have an, uh, a brain fart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Instead of a reminder on your phone or something. That's it. Well, it's like, it's these are busy times. Yeah. What can I tell you? I'm, we're, I'm in full-time management mode. We're doing mode. our best. Yes. That's all we can do. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So what else is going on? So you guys are heading to Hope Sound. Yep. Yep. We've got this fabulous clinic. It's on Thursday, April 13th. Okay. It's going to be at Claremont National Golf Club, and that's uh, one of our very own Jimmy Stewart, the Jimmy Stewart mm-hmm. of golf, of course. Um, Jimmy is a lifelong PGA member. He has a couple of wonderful facilities uh, out on the West Coast, and he and his sons uh, and his son just bought this facility in in, in Orlando. And it's it's the the most elevated area of Orlando. So it's got a nice view. On here. Oh my gosh! It's got a panoramic view of Orlando, and I didn't know that existed. Right. So, so Claremont, Mont is hill or mountain, yeah. and so so that's C L E R M O N T National dot com. Check it out. They have this gorgeous top tracer range that just opened, and then the golf course is next. And the, the layout is fantastic. It's, it's, it's one of the best layouts in the area. And so they had to completely re-turf it. So it's in the process of being reshaped and re, uh, reseated. And, um, and they, they couldn't have a better person at the helm of this thing. So they got the restaurant and the top tracer range going and the beautifully lit range with all these, these beautiful different colors, you know, for, for evening and, and nighttime mm-hmm. golf. So it's, nice. it opens at 930 in the morning and closes at 1030 at night. Mm-hmm. So it's um, an, a very nice enchanted, you know, you guys are going to love it when mm-hmm. you see it. Yeah, it'll be fun. So brand new golf balls, brand new top tracer, brand new mats, brand new range. You know, you guys got to go check it out. And um, and then from there, the two of you hop in the vehicle and head down to Hope Sound. Mm-hmm. And we've got, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, some action for the both of you that, that week. Yeah, so the scheduling can be a little different from what Mr. Keep was. Uh, there's a, a lot more players in this one, 64 instead of 48. Yeah. And um, the, the structure is going to be a little different. They're going to have, uh, like, the semifinals and the like early in the day and then yeah. ladies and then 
later at night, they'll have the main event, the finals. That's on yeah. Sunday. That's on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. guys have like three day qualifying stuff. Yeah, because there's just yeah. so many of you. Yeah, and then the volume, the, the demand is clearly higher. I think people yeah. like the venue at the at the Hope Sound. It was pretty yeah, cool being venue. in the Polo f- Field. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. the Hope Sound Polo Club. Yeah. And so they're using, you know, stacked up polar polo fields. Yeah. yeah. And, and how, how wide is the, it was pretty wide, the grid? Like 60, yeah. I'll say about 60 yards. 60 yards wide? Yeah, it's yeah. healthy. It's a healthy size, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't have the same amount of roll. It doesn't no. roll very much no. because the the turf is. Uh, I mean, it's lush. It's lush, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's lush yeah. and. And you're gonna sure you're gonna have some odd bounces, you know, depending on you know if you yeah. if it's if it falls in a hoof mark. Mm. Yeah, that's it. So so it's there's gonna be a little bit of the luck of the Irish in there. Yeah, oh, so depending sure. upon carry. I think like I think morning. we better find a four leaf clover. Yeah, yeah, right, and a horseshoe. Bring a horseshoe with yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the weather conditions are going to be because they play a huge factor on the ball over there. If it's dewy, it won't carry as far or go as far. It's too yeah. humid. If it's too humid, yeah. And then in the afternoon when it gets pretty windy, uh, it gets it, interesting. It um, Where is it facing? Is it facing east-west? It's facing away from the water. Away from the water. So it's facing west. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've got a breeze coming off the ocean, it could be slightly downwind. Yeah. That's usually that's the setup. Yeah. That's, that's usually the setup, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. How they okay. work with that. Good. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna have to actually do some research on what the weather's gonna be like. Yeah. You'll need the weather patterns big time. Yeah. yeah. So as uh, as golf professionals, uh, especially when you have to deal with the with a lot of the outdoors, we we're basically amateur meteorologists. Yeah. That's it. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, yeah. My like wife, obsessed I, with I, the weather. I, <laughs> I drive my wife nuts on that. She yeah, says, you "Oh do. yeah, you, you you why do you want to learn about the honey? It's like it's a it's a routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need to know, you know. So yeah. I mean, I'm I'm on the weather channel every day. Yeah. Even in the winter. <laughs> yeah. Am I going to shovel snow today or not? Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh man. So I'm really looking forward to uh to that event for you guys. Yeah, that'll be yeah. fun. It was a really, really good start. And um, so, Mu, you know, at this time last year, mm-hmm. uh, because, you know, we're going to be comparing your performance to last year. Yeah. And you almost made the top 16 last year. Yeah, I've gotten, gotten in the groove of how the competitive s- nature of the sport plays out. As a part, you kind of have to also figure out, like, it's one thing just hitting the ball in the grid. But oh. then once you start to figure out, like, okay, I got to stay alive you know, to, to push on the next level. That's where it's like, it's how it works. Um, that competitive edge comes The competitive out. edge is like, okay, I got to get my ball out there, but also get some good distance. And once I got a feel of, because I was in the elimination bracket. Yeah. And like, if you lose, you're out. Yeah. So I was in the a round where I was like, you know, progressing. I was getting close to like kind of make it to the top 16. And I got, I got a taste of. You missed a bunch by so little last year. Yeah. yeah. So there's so like, so that that's the part. It's like, I want to make sure that ever never happens again. You know? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so like yeah. I'm doing my best to kind of gain more distance. So know? what was your, your club speed at this time last year? Oh, it was like, I was maxing out at 143. Maxing out 143. Yeah. So we got 10 more miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So 10 more miles per hour was... was and you was you had fun. one that carried about 375 in Hope Sound last year. Yeah, yeah. And so, then, like, they were mostly averaging out, like, 360, you know, once yeah. I was trying to kind of keep it together. So your goal this year is just to, is just to have better performances than last year. That's it, mm-hmm. yeah. That's just, it. Just be better. And be wherever faster. the cards fall, fall. Yeah, yeah. just right? be faster and just win your sets. It's all you can control. Yeah. 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 Yeah, very cool. So it keeps uh, it keeps the pressure light. Yeah, it keeps I know you wa- you want to do well, but I mean, bottom line is that if you're improving, which you are, I mean, it's ten more miles an hour—that's a major that's improvement. A big, yeah, it's a huge one, especially with uh, with the facility we have here. It's been very helpful to be able to train consistently and get the reps in because that's a part that if yeah. you don't get reps in, you're not gonna um, you know get better at all. Yeah, 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 and I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing. What the catalyst suit is is going to to bring on? I mean, Sab just had her first two workouts yeah. with her suit. Mm-hmm. It was uh, mm-hmm. a lot of shits and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of stimulation. Like, there's a lot of information being thrown at you. All yeah. At once. Yeah. Oh my. It goodness. was like just watching her and her eyes and her reactions, and it's just yeah. like it's. I was that was like, it was like very a entertaining. Total overload but in a good way <laughs> yeah are you feeling sore today yeah my legs are a little fatigued they're not sore it's like fatigue okay 
Yeah. Which is like a different sensation than what I'm used to. Right. Um, you can definitely obviously play around with it in the next workout and yeah. see which uh, level you can push it at. Because you can definitely, your, your muscles adapt pretty fast, as you'll find. Because yeah. that's where I've discovered, like, your muscle uh, habituation goes up a lot better, a lot faster. And you can mm. pretty much push the meter on the EMS. Yeah. Um, uh, hertz that you have on the machine. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> there's because I was following like the intensity of the workout and yeah. how it like increases with every rep. At one point, I was like, "Whoa, can can this <laughs> can this body handle that?" Yeah, right? I was like, yeah. "Okay, let me just uh, can we put this on this pause for right a second? now?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you then you realize, no, I can take it, no problem. Mm. Yeah, it's um, it's just the it's, brain. Yeah, the exactly. Being, it's a mental being thing. Timid, and it's like, oh, I don't know. Are you sure about this? You know? Self-preservation <laughs> mode, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's in self-preservation mode. Yeah. The um, and I've I found. I mean, just yesterday, I I noticed a little bit of a size difference with you. Move. I think I think you got a little bit more muscle. Yeah, I I, I do feel it. It uh, it definitely has uh, impact in body composition already too. Yeah, especially with the. The combo I'm doing, so I have I have a system already been playing around. So I okay. do three sessions in the gym, then two sessions with the with the suit. Yeah, one session is just power, and one session is just hit training, which is just pretty much trying to maintain cardiovascular uh, efficiency on the okay. muscle. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I'm finding that's kind of helping um, my body respond a lot easier to the suit, the demands of the suit, but also my my workouts in the gym are are, are breeze now in terms of really of, in terms of movement pattern like. I can do an extra rep, you know, just to really, yeah. So it's definitely so it's like a a muscle prep, a muscle prep, but also a muscle enhancement. So it's like your the recruitment, like you recruit more muscles doing the exercise becomes yes. a lot easier as right? so like you know, bench press or that's one sweat. thing I've noticed is like man, I've never felt those muscles before in my upper back and my shoulders, right? Uh, my even my lower back, mm-hmm. um, my QL joint is not seizing up. Yeah, you know, in the evening anymore. Yeah, it's gonna be different for uh, everybody. Uh, you know, I used to, you know, when I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, it used to usually go, it would seize up. Mm-hmm. Now I notice that after my workout, if I do a work an evening workout, yeah, I don't get up to go in the bathroom anymore. Oh, your body is completely. In, it's like shutdown. I sleep seven hours straight. Right. I mean, my sleep pattern has been amazing. It's good. And if I do get up. Um, you know, I, I don't seize up that QL doesn't, doesn't you know, it's like, I get you. let me, leave me alone already. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so that's, that's, those are the pluses that I find right out of the gate. Mm-hmm. And, and I do feel like when I'm doing certain demonstrations to my students, yeah, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm going, okay, see my, the center is my shoulder and I put my hand on my shoulder. I'm going, Hey, the shoulder's bigger. Yeah, I see. Mm-hmm. so the body composition is eh? And I'm right? going, hey, that's bigger than last time I touched my shoulder. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, and I'm going, oh, well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, you've been start, starting to take some supplements too, right? The amino acids. Thanks to, to you, man. I, I had a bad, I had a bad yeah, uh, uh, not. session in, uh, in Dominican. And, you know, I just, I got dehydrated. Yeah, the, that's the, the first time that's ever happened to me being dehydrated. The, yeah. And it was like, that sent me for a wicked loop. Don't don't do that. Don't you know? Make sure you're hydrated, people. Yeah, that's what they well, always say in, in the workouts. Make sure you hydrate right after the workout. Yes, and, uh, yeah. uh, I learned that firsthand. Um, but in in general, because I've, you know, I'm I I go down. I mean, we played. We we were out all day on Sunday. Mm-hmm. It's you know, I go from a winter setting to like it's ninety degrees out. That's right. And. Um, I noticed you're not good at hydrating to start with. Exactly. And yeah. then you fast. Yes. And you don't replenish your body properly. Correct. So Daddy was a big big fat rookie on that one. Yep. And uh, that won't ever happen again, people. <laughs> so when I got back here, Moo taught me how to this is a pre workout hydration, this post workout hydration. You do that right away before you do anything else. And I felt amazing after my last uh, so I had a couple of really good workouts and and a really good um re- recovery session since are, i got how, back how are you finding the amino acids in terms of supplementation oh i i, I feel a difference yeah you feel a yeah difference, i feel yeah. a difference i mean yeah. uh i haven't been this well hydrated ever yeah that's good <laughs> like ever yeah 
So uh, that, that's, you know, I finally learned how to, how to, how that works. That's good. And, um, and I won't take it for granted ever again. I promise. That's right. Good. Cause I, I know I, you guys were a little worried and mm-hmm. my hosts in Dominican were very worried. And, uh, yeah. so, you know, as soon as I got to the hospital and they gave me an IV, yeah, that, that was it. I mean, I was perfect. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's just... So <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it was interesting. Yeah. So, but everybody was very nice. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful area to, to be and uh, the, you know, you're by the ocean, the colors of the ocean. Uh, you know, you're you're having a great time with your with your friends all day, and and you realize, okay, you can't forget to drink. Yeah. So that's. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple there. Mm. So what else is going on, people? Um. Apart from uh, the, you know, we, we've learned how to move forward through the soreness. Right. That's it. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be having a meeting with uh, Bjorn on the 18th of April. Yeah. So yeah. don't miss that. We're going to have the head of Catalyst in yeah. our podcast. Yeah. We'll pick his mind of how the system works for everybody and you know what they're seeing from from the field, you know, from the oh, research. He's, he's got an amazing personal story about that, too. Exactly, yeah. Um, he, the, the, the history of this technology is very rich. Yeah. It's, it's not like it's a fly-by-night and it's just started and we're guinea pigs, right? This is, like, mm-hmm. extremely well-researched. I'm a little ticked that I didn't know about this it's been It's 50 years old. Yeah, and I'm a little ticked that I didn't know about this. because well, it Aren't been, you? Yeah, it would have been nice to have had this, you know. It's just, it wasn't yeah. readily available. And well, especially you, for, like, personal use. Like yeah. It wasn't that's, that's being true. sold for I just found out there's a use. studio in Quebec City. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Where, you know, it's it's a wired suit. That's right, and you need the monitor. You need, yeah, the monitor, and you need the instructor, and yeah, you got to get out of your way and go in there, and, and they got to dress you up. Right. You know, whereas... You know, I got the suit hanging in my closet. I, I put it on, put the, you know, wet wet my the pads, and yeah. I, I'm I'm ready to go in five minutes. It's amazing. Yeah. Twenty minutes later, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And uh, and and you know, so you, you the whole the whole process is forty five minutes in your home. Yeah, and it's just some Max. ten minutes workouts that are easy to do too. Come on, it's insane. Yeah, it's it's quite the hack. And Sherwood, I had a one of my one of our students. Sherwood, uh, it has he, he got a suit as well. And he says, man, he's a hockey coach. Right. He's played sports his whole life. He's like a gym rat. Yeah, he is, says, yeah. I don't get this kind of results and, and uh, this kind of uh, response. In the workouts that he in, does. In the, ever. I've yeah. never had this kind of response from my body. It's just like, I, this is beyond my expectations. Right. So every, every, every one of our students that have bought the suit so far, yeah. we've had a dozen yeah. And uh, everybody is blown away. Yeah. Blown away. Just like me. Like, I'm blown away. I'm still blown away, too, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I'm, re- you know, so the next, I would say, what, safe to say because our routine is already going. Yeah. Would you say, like, the two of you are going to be stopping those workouts about a week prior? To what? To, to, leaving, for, to leaving for Hope Sound? Um. Or would you be doing recovery sessions in the suit? I'll be doing recovery sessions, but with a mix of power, kind of maintain. Power is very safe. It's not going to be too taxing on the body. Um, I'm finding that I'm, especially with supplementation, it kind of mitigates uh, recovery yeah. speed, right? So, so um, you've, you, you're, you've, you've gone a little bit deeper into, deeper the, into it than me, that's deep, for sure. Yeah, so because of how, uh, um, how effective it is for the muscle, um, efficiency yeah like like the tear like the activation but then also the recovery part it'll be a lot easier to kind of compete in, in any state that i'll be pushing through and what would you say for sav for sav it'll be right now i'm gonna you know play by ear because yeah. she's she's got a she has a, a huge learning curve with the with the suit to, yeah. to experience kind of see how she feels with her with her body about it yeah i'm gonna let her dictate what, what i think she's um, finding it i think between Hope Sound in Colorado is where you're really going to put a dent in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you'll have the time to do that. And so, uh, and all of you who are West Coast, uh, just north of Denver, at the Bigfoot Sod Farm. Yeah, and that's in LaSalle, Colorado. That's where the next event's going to be in June. Yeah, 
um, for the World Long Drive. And both Sav and Moo are going to be heading out there. And uh, we're talking to a few of our students in that area right now. We're, we're, uh, we're getting a, a location put together. So for any of you who are looking forward to or you're in that area and you want to find out more information about it, send us an email. Just go info at wisdomandgolf.com. Also for Moo's speed protocol. Because, I mean, now, listen, I'm sorry, this shit works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plain and simple, okay? Yeah. And the if if you're not doing what we're doing, um, I don't think that you're capitalizing on your capabilities as a golfer. Mm-hmm. And whether you're doing speed protocol with anyone, yeah. you're meeting them where they are. You're essentially teaching them what I teach. Right. It's yeah. simple, you yeah. know. It's wisdom in golf, and. But now there's a structure to building that speed yeah. without injury, without yeah. without getting hurt. Or changing your swing. And changing, that's yeah, it. A lot of people get worried about it. It's going to mess up their swing. Or Well, no, it's only going to enhance the bejesus I swing. Yeah, you actually start using your anatomy correctly. Yeah, and, and the proof is Bryson. Mm-hmm. Bryson's technique has improved a 1,000% since he's gone to speed training because he's had to listen to his body. Right. And, you know, the, his meteoric rise mm-hmm. from where he was to winning U.S. Open, to winning the Bay Hill, to, you know, to where his reputation has taken him uh, is, is just phenomenal. So you, you look at his swing right now, apart from his grip, mm-hmm. which I think is still something that he needs to address, um, it's, it's our swing. Mm-hmm. It really is. And so you look at Jack Nicholas, Sam Sneed, uh, Bobby Jones. That's those are the movements, the movement patterns that you're going to see. And then you know take that and uh, and and use our multiplication code yeah. that uh, you'll see through Munashi's website. So make sure you go see. Uh, you click on um, so on our website at wisdomandgolf.com. You'll see uh, uh, Moo at the top for wisdom and movement. Go see that, and he's got this amazing, you know, system that uh, he'll follow you one on one online, or you can do it yourself. He's got, I mean, how many videos? It's like these are like twenty second clips no, of the exercises. No, no, no. How does it work? It's the speed training is Pers- directly personal one on one with Moo. Yeah, so I build this uh, framework of uh, where you are at, and then I design the or, um, speed sessions based off the level you're at, and also yep. based off the goals you, you have for your club at speed. Ideally, you, I, would, I would like to have you to have a you know, launch monitor with you or it's a top golf, right, so we can yep. track the numbers you're producing. And then uh, each session we build on that, and you should see a 2% increase within you know, two weeks, which is mm-hmm. significant from what right. you can imagine. Yeah, the speed training is different from all the other stuff that you offer. Yeah, it's, it's a lot different. From a strength, strength conditioning standpoint, there are three-month, six-month, and 12-month programs uh, with videos with them so that you right. can follow along to kind of get a baseline to build the uh, necessary strength and core strength that you need to That's right. Interact That's right. Just, just to have a healthy kinetic chain so exactly. everything is well-balanced. Exactly. So you lay down the framework, mm-hmm. and then you add the speed training protocol on top of that, or you build them simultaneously. Yeah, yeah you build them simultaneously. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Very cool. Well, all right. So this is release week, everyone. Enjoy our our social media expose <laughs> and our YouTube full length video on that. And uh, we can't wait to talk to you next week. Next week is going to be side bend and tilt. That's it. The side bend and tilt week. So why is it so important? How do you maintain it? How do you revolve around it? I mean, right. it's going to be an absolute you know, full week on that. And we're going to have an amazing podcast on that as well. So stay tuned. All All the the best. best. Take care.